My name is Ian Spanier, and today we're at the Westcott Soundstage. We're gonna be doing a portrait of something kind of like what I would normally get on an assignment with, say, a young actor in Hollywood. So we're gonna create light that helps tell the story of the subject of our photograph. When I have an assignment like this, I like to think of the lighting as using what I set up with intent. And what I mean by that is that I'm gonna create a scene that is intentional. It helps kind of create an atmosphere and a story through the light. And then I rely on my subject to kind of complete the entire picture, forgive the pun. But basically what I'm looking at is a very directional light that gives a sense of, of beautiful modeling and the light is really soft and versatile. So my subject can really feel like they can move around within the constraint of the frame that I've created for them. When I frame up something like this, I'll often work with my subject and I'll put some tape markers on the table, for example, in this case, where I can let them know where they can move within so that they're still in frame. That makes it much easier for them to work with me. And they basically, you know, actors in particular are used to having a mark. So if I give them a constrained area that they can operate within, then they really feel like they have a sense of control on their side of what they're doing with the image. I like to use a little bit of my background of my double major in art and psychology to working with my subjects. Quite often what I'll do at the beginning of a shoot is tell my subjects, if I'm quiet it just means you're doing great and I don't need to say anything. And then from there, I really feel like it lets them feel like they're in control, but what they're not realizing is that I've set the light, I've set the background, I've set the frame, and I'm the one who's deciding when to push the button. So in the case of somebody that you might want to let them feel like they're in control, this is a great way of letting them feel that, but in reality, I'm in control of the image. And when I do something like this, it I think puts my subject in a very comfortable place because then they really feel like they can start to become themselves and they forget about the fact that I'm pointing a camera at them and on the case of some of the bigger shoots, there might be 10 people watching the shoot behind me and it kind of relaxes my subject down to the point that I can really get them to be themselves, which is ultimately what we want to try to capture is somebody for their true nature. So one of my favorite setups that I do right now is this idea of stacking. And I've done this either with two of the 43 inch Apollo deep silver, or I'll use the seven foot silver with diffusion and the 43 inch deep silver Apollo umbrella with, with the diffusion as well. And the idea of this kind of stack is creating a very directional one source kind of feel. But the key for me is working with the ratios. So the key light is actually the seven foot umbrella, which I have at two stops brighter than the Apollo Silver. And that Apollo Silver is basically acting like a fill light. And that gives my subject actually a lot of room. Even though the light is very directional, it allows them to move about where they won't fall into shadow in any negative way. The other thing I'm doing is bouncing a little bit of light back in with this four by six scrim. And that's allowing just a little fill to that shadow side and sometimes I'll actually do that with black on purpose and get negative fill. But for today, I wanted to do a little bit of a, a lighter tone uh, with everything. So I'm using a white fill on this case. And that's just strictly bounce. It's just coming, you know, the light's directional in that way. And it's just firing right back at Sam. In the background, I've got two X drops and you'll notice I've stacked them. That's intentional. I'm doing that so that I actually have that shadow, the one that you see now. It's naturally being created by the, the modeling lights on the, the FJ400s. So that shadow's there on purpose, just to give some depth. So rather than just have a flat background, sometimes it's nice to create a little bit extra space. And this is something that I'll do on location. I know today we're in a studio, but quite often I'll do this when I'm on location and need to create a studio look on location. Part of the beauty of working with the FJ400s is that quick recycle time. When I have a subject who is really getting comfortable and they're moving within this little frame that I've created, it allows them to continue to move and I can continue to shoot and capture a lot of variety. So in the case where I might only have a few minutes with my subject, this gives my client all that content that they want without sacrificing quality.
Thanks for joining us today. I'd love to hear some of the things that you do to help get your subjects to relax in front of the camera. For more great content like this, please subscribe below.